teach a proactive dispatch because I'm very much I was trained in reactivity, not proactivity. Yeah. Has Jeanette with that? Is she all right? Uh, I've only I only have seen her from her onboarding. I've not seen her on duty since. So, I mean, I don't know yet. Um, okay. I think Jeanette would be able I think Jeanette would be able to do both. I don't know for certain, though. If need be, we can always set up like a training day on proactive dispatching and we can run some shit and uh, uh, I can put some stuff together and maybe anybody else who's comfortable with it can put some stuff together and we can just kind of get on the same page about just how to manage that. I mean, even get some PD in there too because there's going to be some PD like, officers that are going to know how to do that better than most I would like that because I need training and proactivity. Okay, I can start. Uh, I can start thinking some things up. Maybe thinking about uh, how we can, you know, get everybody on board with it and train some people up with it. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, another thing: if you go to staff pages uh, and you see a call sign matrix button next to the search bar. Oh yeah, what's that? Uh, basically, it's a roster. Basically. Can I click it? Is it if okay? If you scroll. Yeah, you click it. If you go all the way to the bottom, you see other call signs, which includes uh, dispatch. Oh my god! I went to Slacks yesterday, and I uh, got all of our call signs added in to the MTT. Who's Christian Winter? I don't know, but their call sign is your mom. And who's Alex Mushkin Domino? Uh, they are the head county clerk. Oh, county clerks are on here. So what they, so what they, what what Alex has done is she has set her call sign to head clerk in the MDT, which means she shows up here. Oh, I see. Okay. Now this is different because last night it actually showed dispatch call signs, not other call signs. So I think they changed it overnight. Which I don't know how big, big of a fan I am of it, but eh. This is cool. They also fixed. Okay, they did fix the uh the hotels actually were showing up under dispatch call signs. They fixed that as well. <clears throat> but yeah, it is cool. What's the double O's? Like triple zero. Like den? Oh, wait, where? And den's a triple oh, zero. Uh, I think den, I, th I think instead of zeroing out, when, like, because he got fired for a period of time, right? I think instead of completely deleting his call sign, they just put zeros. Hmm. And then he got rehired and they just haven't updated it to whatever mm -hmm. his call sign is now. Okay. So this is all just based on what it is in the staff page, yeah? Yep. Okay. So it's probably not, like, it's not necessarily always going to be up to date. So, but, but it's, uh, this is what it is in the staff page, yeah. Why does Ezra's user type have, like, a big white block in it? Everybody's does. Oh, it does, okay. But uh, the fun thing with that as well is that if you look very closely or you adjust the contrast and brightness, if you take a photo of it, you can make out what it says. Uh, in this case, it says please for Ezra and everybody pretty much uh, in dispatch it says please. Good. Uh, but there was an issue, which I got sorted out, where five out of the six new hires are showing as public instead of police but that's resolved oh okay uh did has anyone bought to do you know to do a FOIA request or? i have not dealt with the FOIA request yet no but uh okay uh i'll just do a quick thing just so you know how to do it and we can start working on some sops but if you go on an incident let's just go to i don't know the um 
Alan Kyles and Future Hendrix, right? Criminal Possession, uh, ID 4227. Yeah. Click on that. Uh, if you go, like, let's say the lawyer of Alan Kyles comes in, you'd go to Alan Kyles, and you see the blue button, it says export. That's how you'd get the link, and it would just copy a link, and then you could text it to them or however you want to give them that. But obviously, we'd have to follow the procedure. Um, I'm just going to export to see yeah. how it works. It basically works like a PDF. Oh, this is how they generated it. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Because I had to get like a, I get one of these reports, uh, like an incident report, exported for an interview a while ago for dispatch. So it's really simple to do. We just need to be able to have a process to teach people. And make sure they know how to do it. And then we share that link with the lawyer. Uh, yes, okay. as long as they are the lawyer of the person. <clears throat> and it's, I think it's four days, Beric told me it's changed to. So it used to be five days or more, but now it's only four days or more for the incident. Okay. And <clears throat> I asked a question of like, because one of the stipulations at the bottom was like, you know, make, it, make sure the report is 100% complete. And I was like, is that like, a thing that we have to ensure and he was like no as long as you follow the three prongs of whatever it is it's like you know lawyer five days and then whatever the third one is it doesn't matter whether the report's done or not that's on pd you've just got to send it over yeah we just send it over and if it's not done oh well yeah you I should will. have finished your report man exactly wait uh yeah. i did do, do you see what i sent you about this someone should have applied for i think it might i think she's shift one Chanel Money should have got, so that there should be an application. Yeah, okay. So uh, sh I saw her on Twitter pretty much during shift two yesterday, and uh, I checked the lemon list, and guess what yeah. her ad was? What's that? It said whore. <laughs> so I have some concerns, and I'm... If you do an interview, I will send you this image so you can put it on the on the, you know on the on the on the projector to question her about it. But uh, I mean, I don't, I, I, I just, we want to be professional. I don't know if we want our we, I don't know if we want staff to be on yellow pages saying whore. I mean, I'm sure she wouldn't do that whore. if she was on duty. That's just in her own time. Uh, listen, I, I will have to, I, I'll have to give her a plus one because. She came in here with Alana Reviews. Have you met Alana? No, I have not. Well, Alana came in here with Chanel, and they were both asking to be receptionists. Uh, Alana went first, and I checked her profile, and she had 11 counts of assault and battery, three counts of assault with a deadly weapon, and a count of perjury. And I was like, Alana, I can't hire you. What are you doing? And she was like, no, I'm a good person now. And she hugged Chanel. And I was like, okay, well, I'll come back to you. And then Chanel was like completely clean. She told me her experience in like the UK with as a hostess. She's good with people, this, this, that. I was like, okay, here's the link, you know, sign up. And then Alana was like, okay, what about me? And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, the, the last space has been taken by Chanel. And then she got mad and she started beating up Chanel in the lobby. So then I called for backup on the radio because she beat Chanel down. Well, she didn't beat her down, but she punched her in the face. And then Blackwell came out. Blackwell got beat down by Alana. So then it was a 78s oh call. And then... <laughs> Watson pulled up and then Watson chased after her into an alleyway, didn't come out. She never came out of the alleyway because Alana beat her down too. And then Alana got beat down. So she beat down two cops. And then later on, she's trying to beat me again. Anyway, my point was during that situation, uh, Miss Chanel didn't even try and fight back. She wasn't like, she's not a scrapper. She's not a fighter. She's not crazy. And then as soon as that officer went down, she actually went over and gave her uh, medical aid. She was like giving her like, not C, but well, she was giving a CPR at one point because Blackwell wasn't breathing. So, so she is. Oh, she shit, seems okay. to be. She seems to be like a. You know, she's got a priority straight. <clears throat> I would give her a yeah, plus one. That's um, okay. But uh, I think that's Nadia's shift anyway. Uh, I was. This is a, something I was kind of testing with Chastity because 
uh, we hired Martha, but I've kind of been leaving a lot of the training to Chastity because I think mm. like giving receptionists like receptionists a bit of autonomy when it comes to training and stuff like that is something I wanted to do. So all I really did was onboard Martha. I helped her a little bit with the basics of front desk work, but then like MDT and everything like that, I left with with Chastity and Chastity's helped her out. So I have said to Chastity, start having a think if you're interested, maybe get together with Jordan or something or some other receptionist and start, maybe you guys could come up with your own like checklist of what you think a receptionist needs to know, uh, you know, before they can kind of, well, not necessarily before they can get out there and work, but almost like um, almost like an FTO sign off thing. I didn't say that specifically, but basically, okay, so yeah. you know, we'll have <clears throat> basically just giving receptionists a bit more autonomy if they're interested in doing that kind of stuff and training and that kind of thing. Because uh, you know, I'm no expert at what they do at the front desk. Like, they I'm sure they're no expert at what I do back here, right? <clears throat> So I don't know. I'm not saying that we need to give them, uh, you know, that kind of capability and let them train all the receptionists. But I just told her, you know, if that's something you, you want to do and you, you're interested, just start working on like a personal project. And I'll talk to the rest of the, the leads and see what they think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's good. I, I have a receptionist in shift too that I need to train up. I just don't know how to train them up for the reception only. Yeah, that's that was my problem. It's tricky because like I know how to train someone for a dispatcher. I don't know like I don't know how to train someone for front like do I train them to smile? Do I, what do I train them to do? Uh, yeah, I, but, I don't know. Uh so maybe it is a good idea for, for the both of us to get some receptionists onto training these people. I, I, listen, I, I think Martha like I kind of threw her in the deep end a little bit for the most part and I was just like I'm back here if you need me give me a call and I did and she did and I'd come around oh Jesus um oh, fun yeah yeah I might have to help out with that actually but basically yeah, yeah if you need me on radio that's the second 41 only if you want to if it is only if you want to oh I have not Parker, been on I'll one be of around. these. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll help for a little bit. <laughs> what is this? Oh, is it the stolen vehicle? Is that the, yellow, the orange blip there? Yeah, orange blip. It's okay. by Stab City right now. We have uh, Stark 10 -8? Just don't look at the number I of the tractor. We've got two dispatches ready to give you call at. Oh, my God. Okay, it's currently southwest of Stab City. Can you talk when you're looking at your GPS now? No. I'm not looking at my GPS right, anymore. Okay. <clears throat> do you what? Which one do you uh, want to do? They're on the railroad tracks. You, they're on the railroad track currently. What, what direction? Going northbound. They are headed northbound towards Palito. Hate this fucking. I get you. It's gonna take Great Ocean. If any other unit's gonna take uh, Sonora, that'll be great. They are entering first tunnel before the bridge at Ryan Canyon. Okay. You need to be advised, I've just entered the first tunnel on the railroad tracks, still headed northbound towards the Lumber Yard and Palito. They are now on the bridge, entering the second tunnel towards Palito. Um, who's responding? I only see one eight, unit. 862 is going Sonora. 122, 862. A53 is Passing Lumber Mill. Passing the Lumber Mill Lumber now, Lumber. continuing northbound on the train tracks. This is what they do. They always take the railroad tracks. Really? Nowadays. I wonder why. Yeah, I think it's easy, like easier to avoid cops. I guess. One six two redirect. Passing chicken factory. Road route sixty eight. Still on railroad tracks. Now, eastbound. They are headed through Palito eastbound on the train tracks. Currently headed towards Sonora Freeway. Now out of Polito headed eastbound along the last strip of GOH towards Sonora Freeway and Braddock Pass. There are you turning. They're going south or now they're I'll hold for a second. They're going southbound again the railroad tracks again. They have U turn, they're southbound on the railroad tracks back towards Stab City.
They are westbound through Polito on a southbound direction towards 122. <clears throat> Oh, she's right there. She's got this. Come on. Oh, me too. I have eyes. It's a blue color. Vigaro. Uh, continuing on the railroad tracks out towards Sonora. Right is going to be the exit or stop today. Holy, even on fucking off road, this car is fast. I'm having trouble uh, keeping up with that off road. Uh, if you could maintain comms. Hey, from Southbound railroad tracks. See you in southbound down. on the railroad tracks, approaching Stab City and Joshua Road. Looks like they're going to take the bridge over Joshua on the railroad tracks. Yeah, hey, from See you in on the yeah, railroad yeah. tracks, headed eastbound across Joshua Road, parallel with uh, Sandy Airfield. No, they're on Joshua Road now. They've merged onto Joshua Southbound Road Joshua. at Southbound Joshua. Ten has eyes trying to catch up. Look at that. One, ten. One. And one, ten. Yeah, one, ten is one. <laughs> Oh, uh, I see. Like Eastbound Sonora. Yes. Redwood lights. I also see. That's why I have glasses. Right now I also have Sonora. glasses. I don't see it too good. No, I don't see too good either. Speeds are on the 110 right now. Sometimes I wear Traffic contacts, but I've, I've been really lazy lately. Still stop on Sonora Road. Contacts are a pain in the ass. Blanca. Yeah, they are. For the Blanca to stop on Sonora approaching Elgin. Breaking by the Casino Bridge. Continuing now eastbound, Vinewood Park Drive, left, gonna be northbound, Los Santos Freeway on ramp. So I noticed that the call doesn't Northbound come through with the vehicle. Water purification. Does it come through? No, it doesn't. Through pretty heavy traffic, he's weaving between. Oh wait, cars it comes through as a 37 130. call by the looks of it. Santos Freeway taking. A, she said it's a blue Vigero, and there's a blue Vigero on the 37 call. Oh my god, call. you're right. Well, now. Still I wonder if it's flare oh. or not. Speeds 150. I'm just gonna add. I'm just gonna add there's can... a card underneath, just in case. Yeah, let me pull it out. I'll, I'll get the plate real quick and run. More yeah, the, across onto the plate is eight North nine North. Golf Charlie Foxtrot six seven four. It eight is Mark ten six four. Nice. Oh, yeah. also um, when you Sonora pull it out, really. you can open up the card and just copy paste it. Oh, is it copy easier? Yeah, I'm going. Okay. Yeah, oh, you can copy right. easier when it's pulled out. That would just been a problem with me for a while. I don't do it, I think, because I'm worried about like dismissing the card then. Do you know what I mean? So I think I haven't yeah. been doing that. Yeah, I think that. they're doing Sonora Freeway. Speed's 160 and climbing. That is interesting that we actually have, we get it just interesting. I wonder if that happens every time. Yeah. I, I literally, this is the first 99 I've ever seen. Till, uh, northbound Sonora. That I've been on duty for anyway. 8731050 Ocean King. Bonsonora passing Braddock's now. Vehicles like 37 50 popped with the, off uh, after the 99 Alpha, though. Side rail yeah, I did, yeah. Sonora, just so I'm thinking maybe some. Polito. I think maybe someone well, was doing some secondary. suspicious shit and. A local it's, called yeah, car instead of their car. I'll keep an eye on it if I see another one. Approaching the gas station. Yeah. Are these rare calls? The gas there? station now, containing West Bunker. Oh, 99s highway. happen pretty much every day. At least once oh, yeah. a day. In the chicken factory. So West hey, Wolfie. Yeah. 
I really want to swap them, but they've only got two units on it right now. Passing the sheriff's office. Still westbound. There's been two ninety nine alphas today so far in this shift. I thought this I saw one, one before I got was on one duty. Yeah. Hours ago. Pass the lumber yard. Still westbound Gradation Highway. One six two broken over. Ten fifty to the local uh, facing east. That's a manual and car. You turning eastbound Gradation Highway towards the back towards the lumber yard. Passing the lumber yard now. Continue eastbound Gradation Highway back into. Radio check anybody on channel two. Passing the sheriff's office, so you spend good on highway. Units on this pursuit, swap channel two for me. Copy that, swap them. I'll monitor channel two. All right, thank you. Uh, they might need a 77, I'll be honest, because one of them broke off with engine issues. Yeah. Uh... I'm dispatch tool. Is this tow truck full? Am I going to clear this up? Oh, yeah, you can clear that. That was just before we started chatting earlier. I forgot it was all linked there. I haven't actually been on duty dispatching with anybody properly since I got hired. Yeah, it's it's nice to have it linked dispatch up. Dispatch 805. Doesn't it? And they needed additional for that chase. I believe they've got three attacks. One broke for engine issues, so they could probably use a 77, I firm. I will attach. Devil, yeah, thank you, 805. All right, 805's on the way to attach. What? The 911. Devil, Papa 13, Mighty 76, 911, Innocence Boulevard, 2310. Oh, yeah. I'm doing good. We got D D tomorrow. I'm I'll be honest. Uh, I might end the stream a bit early today so I can get some D D stuff done. Uh last minute stuff. I think I got all the stream. Papa thirteen twenty three. Papa thirteen, twenty three, number one, twenty three twenty. All the streams are still last night. I need to pick up. Copy that. I'm just down the road a bit. What's the cast? Me, me DM, Ziggy, Herbie Elephant, Chris Tombstone, Sunstone Fire, and Bam Bam RP. What the hell? What? That call that just came in. Apple 59 Dispatcher. Break, break, break. Okay, dispatch. Any available in the area? Senior buns. Reports of an active robbery in progress. Unit 10 has that first one. Code 3. Eight. 10 9. 862. That voice is Mocking you in route. Been there, okay. He's wearing all. The suspect's wearing all blue. He has a black mask on. I'm going to contact the RP now. Hello? Hello, this is 911 Dispatch. Is the suspect Please. still on scene? Yes, he's here. We're distracting him. Hurry. Please, okay. I'm in the freezer. Yeah, Hurry. Where is he? Is he inside? Yeah, he's inside. He's talking to this guy. Be advised, suspect's inside. He's got a okay. blue shirt and a black mask, and he's British. He's got a blue shirt, black mask, and he's got a British accent. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, did he come in a vehicle? What, what's he been Make doing that makes you believe he he's he, robbing the place? He he came into the kitchen and he took all of our pay stubs and he said he's got shooters outside. If we don't give him up easy, he's going to kill us. Okay, stand the phone with me. 164 Dispatcher. I'm in the freezer right now. We got a guy out there distracting him. Send it for 164. Be advised, uh, Oppie's claiming that the individual came into the kitchen, took all the pay slips, claims he has shooters on the outside and he's going to kill them if they, if they don't give over the pay slips. 
Uh, dispatcher, maybe I think you're maybe referencing one six two. Oh, that'll be right. Sorry. Okay, listen, so uh, just stay calm. Okay, the police officer's there now, okay? Just talk to them. Stay with them. Right. Do what Dispatch they say, okay? Show, okay, okay. Well, thank we'll be on route ASAP. Okay, bye-bye. 10-4, what can you rent? Is it 5e? Yes, it'll be 5e. It'll be a one-shot. It'll be a fun little one-shot we're doing. Um, very, very D&D. &D. It'll be very... It was, it's, it's meant for it as an introduction to D&D &D without the... You meet in a tavern and have to do all this stuff. It's just kind of in media res. It's jump into it, do some shit. These British people putting a putting bad bad stuff on our name, man. Robin Senior Bunch. That's five quota points oh right god. there. Oh my god, how could they do this? I know, I know. One six two welfare check. Made in contact with one male now, matching the description. Copy that. You got one seventy seven in rats shortly. Where's my husband tweeting here? Yeah. Oh god. Something about Hazel. 162, one detained. Oh, that reminds me. Hazel was going to show and me how to drift a few days ago, but I fucking go from the RP dispatch. Like, I already know how to drift, but he wanted to show me how to drift. Hey, can do. The RP's name is Butch Van Dyer. Uh, I'll get them. Do you want me to get a statement on the phone? Copy. If you could have him come out and talk to me, I'm on the back of senior buns. Uh oh. Uh, hello? Hello, Mr. Van Dyer. This is Dispatcher. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Would you be able to go and speak to the officer, please, and give him a um, statement? I'm afraid. Can you come in here and talk to me? You're, you're afraid? Listen, well, you, yeah. The guy, that the robber's in, in, in handcuffs. He's not going to do well, anything he, to you. Yeah, but he's got shooters, and I don't want him to know who I am, you know? Okay, you don't want him to know who you are. Okay. Yeah. Uh, un understandable, understandable. Okay, maybe you could go out the back door. Would would that be more comfortable for you? Uh, uh, can you just come into the freezer? I'll talk to him in here. and just uh, All the way you oh. the... Uh, the officer's are currently on his own. He can't really leave the suspect, you see. Yeah. I don't want to go out there in front of him. And then they'll know. He know. He'll know it's me who called the cops. Okay, right. I don't want to snitch on my self like that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, just t tell me what happened then on, on uh, over the phone. Okay, so this this guy he comes in here and he says, "All right, everybody, I'm robbing the place. Give me your pay stubs." And he he comes in here and uh, he says, "We can do this the easy way or the hard way." And then he he goes up to each one of us. None of us really put up a fight or anything. Okay. He comes up to each one of us. He takes two, I think, or a couple from each one of us. I gave him two of mine. And then I think one of my coworkers gave him a couple of his. And then I don't know how many else he got after that. But I'm pretty sure everybody else just kind of gave him up easy. Because he said he came in here. He said he's got shooters. And one call to his shooters. Uh, and then everybody's going to die Dispatch, or get it or something like that. In reference to and then after he robbed me, I snuck into the freezer and uh, and I called you guys and told you what happened. And then you guys showed up and, I, and apparently you got him because the guy, the Wait. blue haired guy that was distracting him said you guys got him. Did he have a weapon out? No, he said it was a peaceful robbery. He said it was a peaceful robbery and he had no weapons. And so he just said, this is a robbery and you guys handed over uh, a couple pay slips each as far as you can recollect. Um, well, he said shooters. He said he'd call no, his no, shooters. I understand. I understand. I understand what you're saying. Okay. All right. Um, sit tight Back. for me. Okay. Stay there. And uh, he was I'll, menacing. I'll... He was okay. very menacing and British. Okay. I understand. I understand. We can be quite threatening. Okay. Um, all right. Just stay where you are for me, and uh, we'll get an officer to come in shortly. But for now, I'm just going to give your statement to the officer. Okay. Thought he chopped me up or something. 
He's not going to chop you up, so. Okay. If anything, right. he I'm would just... thank you. Right. I, I'm in here. I got yellow sunglasses on and a mustache. Yellow... So. Okay. All right. Thank you, Butch. Thank you very much. I'll All call right. you back shortly. One six two dispatcher. Ten nine. Are you asking for eight six two? Yeah, eight from eight six two. Uh, spoke to the RP. He doesn't want to come out uh, and give a statement. He's in the freezer. He's happy to give a statement in the freezer. But I asked him what happened over the phone. He came. The guy came in. Suspect came in. No weapons. So this is a peaceful robbery. I've got shooters outside if you don't comply. Uh, and then the individuals in the kitchen handed over two, maybe three paychecks each. Copy. Macy, can you keep an eye on Luke? Uh, the suspect? Inside After this uh, with 99 RP. wraps up, I'm probably going to go 42 for just a little bit to see if he's a little... Uh, okay. It's free because uh, I kind of want him to show me some drifting stuff. Drifting, yeah. Oh, God. Dark, I used to be a drift school instructor back oh, in the day, okay? Oh, God, no. You're one of the good ones. <laughs> drifting is fun. Oh, Jesus. Hold on, there's a note. Hey, dispatch. Do I have an available turnout unit in the city? Papa 1376 later one. Would y'all like me to 1012? Uh make your way in just 1012 nearby. If I can't get an officer, you'll have to roll it anyway, but I'll see if I can get one to help you out. Stay firm, thank you. That's to any available unit. Ah, oh, damn it. Silver, you on frequency? I bet you don't have this problem Stay in shift hole, do you? Where? This is I my every day, yeah. Saying, from the sounds of it, I mean, me. you probably hear any me available like, unit? Conduct. Crickets. Crickets, because oh, everyone's no. busy. No, that's yeah. behavior. No, I'll talk with you sending... yeah. that's, 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 that's normal, okay. At least any I'm not alone. Any available unit to respond to a you know, injured person or, yeah. you know, respond to a, you know, a person with a deadly weapon, and guess what? Yeah. Crickets, nothing. Nothing. You can't. You get nothing. You get nothing. Nobody. They're all busy. Yeah. And you're like, okay, I'll just let this person die. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Papa 13, dispatcher. Papa 13, send it. Uh, no available PD unit to assist, so just take caution. Stay firm. Howdy. What's 130 doing? What the hell is he doing right now? What up? Are you free? You want to you wanna teach me the ropes of drifting? Pop for 1323. Oh, there, Mikey. 23-0-15. Are you going? Apparently Rhodes took his car. Rhodes took whose car? Hazel Half Grooves. What? I don't know why. Shabby Avenue near Fulham. But who are you talking to? Self-transport if possible. Hazel Half Grooves, but it's, I think it's just like, duty. they're fucking around. Oh, I see. So you called Hazel? Oh, I see. Yeah, Matt didn't pick yeah, up. Hazel, I called Hazel, and Hazel said, Oh, yeah, Rhodes took my car. Damn. Probably he's just bullying him, huh? Out, but, yeah, he's bullying him. Yeah. Been a huge bully. Great. I think he's back now. At Legion yeah. Square. Okay, well, I guess have fun doing the worst thing in the universe. It's not that bad, Dark. It is. It's, it is. 
It's criminal. How, how is drifting bad? No. Yes. Uh, drift school is legal. Right, so you're going to go do it. Uh, where's the drift school? I'm going to do it in an empty parking lot. Oh. Oh, Jesus. What about if there's a grandma? Empty parking lot. <sighs> Okay, what about if there's a hooker in the empty parking lot? That's where hookers hang out. It's empty. There's nothing there. Empty parking lot. Okay. All right. Okay. That's still empty. Empty parking lot. And you know, each each to their own. I'll 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 retain my opinions on that. <laughs> Listen, back in the day, there was a rave at drift school. I went to the right. rave. There may have been drugs there. Uh, no comment. Um, and I won the raffle for a drift flirt license package. And so I was forced to try drifting. Yeah, and I drifted, you're forced, you're and it was really it. fun. Yeah. No, it was mine. Howdy. Mission or I'll go clock off. <sighs> I'm being dark. Dark is disappointed in me because I'm a drifter. I do. Neither is dark. Huh? All right, I'll uh, let me put my stuff up. Okay. You know what? Maybe we can spy on Rose because one six four's down there. You son of a bitch! Oh, no, you decided to answer me after you stole Hazel right. half squeeze the car and took it for a joyride. I did not steal it. He gave me the keys. I know. I, I knew you wouldn't do any crime. Was it but nice how'd you car? know I was driving it? I have spies everywhere. I have little boats. Oh. Did you see my viral twat? Yeah, I did. It went real viral. It was blowing up my phone now. I know the whole context was Hazel went around the fucking square several times. I had my lights on at a parking spot, and so he knew we were there. He kept doing it over and over, kept trying to drift, kept trying to show off. That's embarrassing. That's yeah, so embarrassing. I know how to drive a manual, though. You know, I'm. You guess you know how I know because we lived in England and you taught me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah I'm so glad yeah. I learned something. So, you know, it, it is, it's still a little strange, you know, being on the other side, but it be what it be. Well, that's fantastic. I'm glad you're, you know, getting used to having your hand on the, on the gear shaft again. Yeah, it's been, it's been a little while. A little okay. While. Um, are you in Legion Square? I just left. Come to Mission Row and I'll put your dash cam in. Because I don't like... Because you don't answer me on radio when I'm asking for 10 units. You don't answer me on the phone. You don't do nothing. And I'm just sat here wondering, oh, what is she up to? And then he was, you know, embarrassing Hazel. You're Bye. right. Wait, has audio been coming in on the dash cams? Uh, no. It was the other day when Sky, you know, was chit-chattering. But other than that, no. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm on the way. Wait, wait, wait. Pull up. Hello. Hello, sir. Who out there? Hello, sir. Who are you? Uh? My name is Doofy, sir. Seems to be Officer Doofy, sir. It looks like your name's Peter. No, sir. I found you on the ground, sir. I don't have enough lunch money to buy a pen to change the name, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yes, look at this, honey. Oh. Look at you in a big, big Kara Kara. Yeah, I know. Let me put I this dash cam in. I got you to keep take care this, of a tow truck. What was that? You're driving this all day slow today, down, right? Slow down. Uh, possibly. Yeah, now nah, I'm gonna drive this. Okay, all right, good. All right, it's in. Make, make sure you drive nice and slow, sir. What did you? What, what did you? What did you just say? Uh, telling people to slow it down. Oh, he's got. Oh, okay. Like a safety guy. Yes, yes, Like a yes. safety man. Okay, yeah. Yes, sir. Make sure everyone's slowing down, sir. Some people want to see us, sir. And if you drive too fast, then you, you can get one over. You make sure everyone's driving nice and slow. That's fantastic. Wow. Wait. Honey, can I, um, can we go for a, a driver? Yep, hop in. Great. 
Do we... Okay, there we are. Yes? Let's, let's go somewhere. Let's go somewhere private, Joe. Okay. Oh, I've got a... This guy gave me a key, by the way. Oh, good. I've got a backup key. Uh... Actually, I had to back you up. I don't think Sky is very happy with me yet. Why? Because I I stitched on her in the meeting. Uh, okay, well, she shouldn't be coming at us sideways. Exactly, that's what I said. Uh, uh, listen, everybody knows me. If you can throw, you need to be able to catch. <laughs> yeah, you're no wrong. Yeah. You're no mm -hmm. wrong. Yeah. And if you can trip people, you best be able to fall. It's not our fault she, she'd have to fall from the sky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. So, uh, you on the, you ran yesterday, yeah? A bit. I need to pick it on my paycheck. I need What's money a good for idea? materials so that we can make more parts of the house. Did you see our little 3D printer? Our little, our little well, bench we got a 3D... dedicated to... Yeah, we're 3D printing car parts. Huh? Huh? No wonder they fall apart so quickly. They're made out of plastic. It makes sense. It makes sense. It does make sense, I guess. Can I borrow your phone now? Uh, one moment. Wait, for why? I just, I seem to borrow it. All right, one second. That's probably big of a paycheck too. Yeah. I might need to borrow some money from you. Why? Yeah. Because we need materials for parts to... Ensure that oh our my cost God. for materials is not skyrocketing. Hello, uh, paycheck. Oh, oh, that was nice. How much? Nineteen thousand seven hundred seventy-one. I got thirteen thousand nine hundred and forty some odd dollars. How did but you get less than me? Uh, I picked up my paycheck after your last. Oh, one. you did. How much money you got in the bank? Uh, just about 25. Oh my god, same! Got 26.2. Now, if someone wants you to call her, Miss Cage. Ooh. Um, yeah, I need to spend a lot of my money on materials. But then I also need to recoup those costs, you know? Does it actually work out as cheaper than repairs? Uh, it, it does because what's happening is if we need, let's say, two across, um, mm -hmm. we're being charged for the labor for two parts. I see. Okay. Like, but if we control our or alternatively, if they don't even have them in stock, the parts. Uh, hold on. Hello. Hey, Cass. Okay, what's going on at Senior Buns? They're not in uniform. Oh, God. Oh, drip back, Senior Buns. I'll I'll be there in a bit. I'll be there in a bit. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. I need to call my material supplier. Okay. Chat, I want Rhodes' phone. Hey, it's Rhodes. I got your voicemail. I'm doing good. How are you? Um, how many materials you got? Do I need to check whether Norman's text him or not? Um, well, between like your normal contract stuff that you would need to get, um, like sort of excluding that, how much do you think you'd be able to get me? Two? Oh, you know what? I'll take that. I will take that. Um, let me... <sighs> I have to figure out how to split that. Give me a second. Let me pull out the spreadsheet. The 2520? If you could do that, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I'll be around for a few hours. 
Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, have a good one. Bye. Oh my God, I have a material supplier. You do? Who is it? His name's Damon Knight. Yeah, uh, never, never heard of him. I don't relate to Brian, I like. Nah, uh, I'm not sure. Dispatch 130, be advised, I've received this reports of a uh, drip act. If you want free pay violators you uh, at <gasps> senior buns. Oh. Oh, I want it. I want it. Can right. you get a borrow your phone for a minute? Oh, yeah, My phone's yeah, dead. Yeah, sure. I, we need to go to the electronics shop after. Hey, uh, Squealer? Yep. How about, Squealer, follow road? I'm gonna just make sure. Thank you. you. Selling your good no problem. Shit. I mean, I don't know why you're laughing. I mean, if you find it funny, it is so petty that it is funny. When was this, sir? Fuck, wait! Are these my texts, sir? Well, how the fuck does this phone thing work? What the fuck? It's all my tech, sir. Isn't it? Oh, it's your scarf? Wow. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> We go perfect. Your husband is. Your husband is te testing me. Excuse me, bitch. Oh, no, that's Matt. Oh, never mind. Okay, this is normal. No one doesn't know what LMFAO means. He probably mean he probably thinks that's some kind of summoning spell. Okay, I don't think he's had any calls or text messages. Hello. 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 Hi, how are you, Belle? Yeah, not too bad. How are you? Well, not too bad. We thought we'd come out and stare at you. Miss it's your very face. Concerning, yeah. Wait, my what face? Why would you miss my face? Yeah. It looks like you don't remember me, so I guess we'll walk away. Oof. Years ago, I used to be a cop with you. All right, guys, let's yeah, go. Just... Six. Yeah, he's extra sensitive all I, the time. It's been a long time. I mi yeah, tell him I miss him. Yeah, yeah I will. I will. I Take care, buddy. There, stick it up for you when people said that weird stuff. Remember? What weird stuff? Remember, there's this one moment in the cell you will remember. Some guy said, get fucked. And I stuck up for you and said, don't worry, he will later. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, thank you, man. Good to see you. Wow. Well, it was it was it was probably on more other terms, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I miss, I miss you so much. I miss, I miss you too, even though you don't remember me. I have no idea who that is. Okay, I think he's good. Uh, wait. Okay. <laughs> Please don't forget me. Sorry, I shouldn't be snooping like this, but it's so interesting. Okay, I don't think we've had a, There's no Norman Bones. There's no Norman Bones here. We're good. Oh my god, thank god. Um, You know what? Do we block the number anyway? No, no, no. We can't do that. Because then it's suspicious. Is this back to mine or not? I definitely remember that guy. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my god. Why am I here?
No text yet. Don't say that. Don't say that. It was only going to be if Matt got a text, hadn't seen it yet. Blocks number. That was only all it was going to be. Because I think that could have created some spicy RP. I think they arrested that guy in the blue shirt, by the way. Silver. Make sure you mark that arrest as 911 for the quota. Maybe Dawn will keep his promise. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that one. <laughs> We're just going to sit out here. Matthew, please. It depends on if they grieve Siggy tomorrow. <laughs> Can you imagine? I think Ziggy's excited, dude. <clears throat> I think he is. Yeah, so but he's definitely going to get griefed. I can tell you now. I can tell you now. I know the kind of players that he's going to be coming into this. Uh, actually, no. I you know what? I have an assumption of what kind of players he's going to be. And if he if he is that kind of player, then all the rest of them fucking around is going to is going to piss him off, dude. I think he's going to come in and be like, "We've got a mission to do." We gotta go here, 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 and we gotta get this. We gotta kill these things, <laughs> and then Chuck's gonna come in and be like, "I got a gun." Oh wait, I've gotta do that. I've gotta give Chuck a gun. I forgot. I've got yeah. I've got some shit to do tonight. Character specific stuff. The nice thing about new players that haven't written a backstory. Because I can kind of just write it for them, you know? Not write it for them, but I can come up with things that, you know... If he's going to be gambling, yeah. I don't know how he's going to gamble, but... Suddenly change it to an evil gun bait. No, I don't think that's going to happen. Although... Without spoilers... Maybe? Who knows? Anything can happen. Anything can happen. I'm gonna. I've got a few things to do tonight. I like to write in character specific things because sometimes you play D and I don't feel like your characters are like connected to anything. So I like to write in at least a few character things into each session um, that characters can discover, or you know, it's basically stuff to do with your character. Because oftentimes you get development about the story or about the world, but not often about your character. So I'm going to do some of that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe some... It's also like... <clears throat> I don't want to give too much away, but... It's like if someone's really good... I'll give you an example. If someone is really good at tightrope walking... At some point in the campaign, if they've made that a specific thing... You've got to let them use it. You know what I mean? Don't let them be a tightrope walker and never get to walk a tightrope. You know what I'm saying? So it's like making sure that players get to do the things that, you know, they've made their character for. Yeah. 
And then I've got to get chuck a gun. I've got to figure out what the fuck I'm doing about that. But I think it's going to be funny anyway. Either way. I ha That's made me consider, like, is there actually guns in this in this D&D world or not? Well, they could all panic and having an NPC's face melt. Exactly. Anything could happen. That's the joy of D&D. <clears throat> I think the one thing I've got to remember, and it's going to be difficult because I have run this one shot with the mods before. And I think we ran over a little bit, didn't we? I think we I think it took like four and a half hours or something. And I obviously want to keep it shorter. But obviously that was playing with a group of very nice, compliant people. I'm running the session tomorrow a group of ACDC streamers uh, who are going to be there to troll me. So I've got to remember to keep them moving. <laughs> That's the one thing about one shots. I don't I don't think I've ever ran on one shot before. Yeah, you couldn't say to the end exactly. I mean, there is also the option of making it a two shot. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't really want to plan for that. I don't want to plan for a two shot because then it's just another scheduling issue. I probably should. Are you the only non ACDC? Ziggy? Ziggy's like ACD and a half, you know? Chris is 100% ACDC. Kirby's 100% ACDC. Ba no, Sun. Sun's going to be there. Sun's not ACDC. Me and Sun. And then 50's again. Uh, the Ziggy's a gamble, yeah. But in terms of... What the hell, Orange? In terms of, like, experience, I think I've obviously played a lot. Um, but I'm not playing, so it doesn't matter. I think... Bam's played... A bit. Sun's played. Chris has played a bit. I don't know. I don't know how much Sun's played. I know Chris. I've played with Chris, obviously. I think that might have been Chris's only D and D experience is when I played with him. So still limited. Uh, and then Ziggy and Kirby are new. So it would be interesting. And I haven't. I'll be honest. I'm a bit nervous because I haven't ran the game for a year since. Like, it's literally been a year since I ran a DD and d game. So, I'm probably going to get some shit wrong. But it's okay. What the fuck? What is happening? Hello. Dark, my passenger. Hi, Dark. How are yes. you? Hey, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. You doing a ride along? Well, I wasn't planning on it. I was planning to talk to my husband for five minutes, and of course, his ACDC kicks in, and we have to come here and deal with someone who's not wearing uniform. Now it's 15 minutes later, and I'm still sat in the bloody car. You know, that checks out. Yeah. Yeah, my, yeah, my partner's like that. Yeah. Uh, well, you have a good one. I'll be on you well, I don't know if you're, you're not on duty. You're just chilling. I, I am on duty, technically. I'm just not on the radio right now. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'll be around yeah. in a little bit. But okay. have a good one. You too. You too. Wow. It's fine, Sock. If shit goes wrong, just roll initiative. That's a good idea. Oh my god, Norman. Piss off. I want five minutes. Uh, Piss off Norman on a t-shirt. <laughs> Honestly, yes, we should. I'm going in for a fucking sandwich. Why did I just call a burger a sandwich? Oh god, that's a Matt Rhodes-ism. 